Okay, now I'm going to do uh, Windows 7. Uh, uh, I have Firefox 4 installed in Windows 7. And uh, what I'm going to do is see if I can go to Web of Wonder or do much of anything uh, after I installed Firefox here in Windows 7. Uh, this, this I, I get pretty much an irrespons irresponsive and what else can I say? Useless browser. Um, I can't really do anything with it at all. So um, to even give Windows a fair shake, um, I'd have to install the Internet Explorer 9 beta. Dun dun dun. So there, there's some kind of underlying unresponsiveness in Firefox 4 and every version of uh, you know the Linux and Windows. Um, it's more so in Linux after it tries to call on things like WebGL and the Mesa library, but in Windows it's just an absolute useless window that opens up and displays what looks like a browser, but it's just a decoration. Okay. Now, I, as far as I know, I don't think I have Internet Explorer 9 in here. It's a beta. Um, I don't think Internet Explorer 9 has these capabilities in it as well. Uh, checking, yes, I have Internet Explorer 8. Internet Explorer 9 has not been officially released yet, you know, so it's not really an update. It's ready for test drive. <laughs> so now I'm going to... Basically what I did is a search for Explorer 9. It came here. And then, why not? It's a release candidate, you know, so maybe a couple months this will be, you know, ready and available for people to use on their machines. So you're just standard, you know, download, next, next, okay, okay, yada, yada, yada. And of course, supposedly as things get more modern, they get to be more opaque looking. And so eventually, what will happen, oh, I'm not going to be able to take a video of this. So I'll stop and I will continue when I'm done.